Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 27th through to June the 2nd. Happy birthday to any of you celebrating birthday this week. So, I went ahead, shuffled cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have Major Arcana, the tower in the reverse position. Followed then by the Five of Cups reversed. And next we have uh, the Queen of Wands in the upright. Followed then by the Seven of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Three of Wands upright. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you guys. First of all, Gemini, for your overall energy, you have that of the Tower in the reverse position. Well, the Tower in the upright position can sometimes represent something coming right out of the blue. It can be something somewhat shocking, can be something uh, somewhat even catas catastrophic, something you didn't see coming. It could be uh, concerning any area of your life. Um, could be in the home, could be anything like that, where something just sort of comes out of the blue. It happens to all of us. All of a sudden, boom, you know, the water heater breaks in your house and you have to fix it, that kind of thing. Um, it can come as shocking news where you hear some shocking news about somebody or um, shocking news just breaks and it just sort of throws you for a loop. When the card is inverted, however, this can sometimes represent bypassing a possible uh, catastrophe. Perhaps you took some precautions and maybe uh, you understood what was going on with the pipes or the water heater beforehand and you took precautions and uh, saved the day for others of you. This could even sometimes represent when the tower in reverse comes up. It could be where we're just sort of accepting maybe you heard some shocking news um, recently and it's just sort of sunk in and the sort of shock of it has now passed and you're past that energy. Either way, it's uh, definitely good. Um, whatever it is, maybe you decided to take not take a chance on a, a job situation or even a relationship and then you realized afterwards like, whoo, you know, I, uh, I dodged a bullet there. <laughs> Now, coming right off the hop, we have the energies of the Five of Cups in the reverse position. I prefer to see this energy inverted as opposed to upright because the upright position can represent that uh, crying over spilt milk. It can represent us feeling really hurt on the emotional uh, level, feeling really disappointed, feeling really upset, feeling a deep loss. And when it's in the upright position, this represents fresh energy like it just happened. When the card is inverted, however, this can represent some healing coming in. You could find over the weekend, this is coming right off of weekend energy, maybe there was something happened, something had happened, and you just realize that, you know, you're starting to heal on the emotional front from whatever it could have transpired. Remember, it's just a general read, so it's going to be different for all of you. Some of you, it could have been on a relationship front. Some of you, it could have been... Um, uh, any kind of disappointment uh, with a friendship or anything like that, maybe just recovering from a loss, uh, something that, you know, was inevitable, we couldn't uh, change it, we couldn't do anything about it. And now the, um, the energy is here showing that you're on the road to repair on the emotional front. Very good news. And it's paired up here with the Queen of Wands in the upright position. The Queen of Wands is a court card, so it could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is a fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, male or female. Now, it could be for some of you, this person comes in. Uh, they could be connected to uh, travel. They could be connected to work. They could be connected to, this could be a, a love interest. It could be anybody for you. But the Queen of Wands, if this is an external person from you, uh, the Queen of Wands comes in and sort of gets things moving again. So perhaps you were in a stagnant uh, situation. This Queen of Wands, whether it's a friend or a, a spouse or uh, a co-worker or even a boss, this person could be coming in, sort of lighting a fire under you, getting you going again, getting you moving. Uh, for a lot of you too, this could just be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Wands and you getting yourself going again. Perhaps the healing of the emotional disturbance has begun and now you feel more um, 
active. It's also your, uh, it's Gemini season now. It's your birthday month. So maybe uh, you guys are just feeling like you want to get out there and start doing things. Some of you could be wanting to travel. Some of you could be wanting to expand your business. Uh, others of you could just be wanting to get physically active again, maybe workouts or uh, enjoying some kind of activities. Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Seven of Cups in the upright position. Seven of Cups, this is interesting energy, very Neptunian, very Piscean energy. Uh, this is representative of a lot of options, a lot of opportunities that could be uh, in your midst. Maybe you're getting going again because you see that there's a lot of options, a lot of opportunities out there for Gemini. This could be for some of you who say, for example, are going on a dating site and seeing that there's many potential partners. If you had a situation, it didn't work out with a prior uh, relationship, you could be you know, looking at doing that. For others of you, the Seven of Cups could be representing a bunch of different travel opportunities. Maybe there's lots of different places you uh, on your bucket list that you would like to visit. For others of you, this could just be a lot of business opportunities. And it's just a matter of you or job opportunities. It's just a matter of you zeroing in on the one that you want. And the last card you have up is the Three of Wands in the upright position. Three of Wands, very progressive energy. This is where we're working towards something. Now, this could be towards uh, building a relationship. This could be towards building a um uh, a home even maybe some of you actually purchased some land and now you're building a home others of you you could just be waiting to complete a project or waiting to complete uh, something concerning travel maybe some of you are moving or in the process of moving you just need that one more wand and you will have arrived <laughs> so very progressive energy here uh, lots of opportunities looks like a pretty good week whatever it is is going on here Gemini it looks like you managed to sidestep it and uh, you've got a lot of healing going on and, and uh, a lot of activity. So, and that's the way Gemini likes it. You like your movement, action, and activity. I will conclude this read with a, um, an oracle pull from the Chakra Oracle cards and see what kind of energies are around for Gemini this week. Some additional. Okay, here we go. This is your card. It's Quest. Whatever that means to you, uh, Gemini, you could be on a vision quest, you could be on, which is could be a spiritual quest, you could be on a quest for a career, for a relationship, however it pertains to you in your own personal life. So that is your reading, Gemini. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.